Thank you viewers, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to talk about some uh, toy buying tips. It might be helpful to you, but every kids are not same, let me tell you first. So it might not be applicable to every kids. Alright, uh, and there are again, you know, some difference between the toddler's choice and the kid's choice. So it's again, you know, like I said, uh, it might be different from, it might vary from kids to kids. Anyway, these are some of the things you might want to keep in mind before you buy a toy. Okay, some toys are really big, and so, but it doesn't have much to do. It doesn't have a lot of things to do with it. So I would not buy that kind of toy because, you know, it looks big, it's big, so you buy it, but ultimately when you take it home, after one or two days, since it doesn't have a lot of functions with it, you, since you don't, since you, your kid doesn't, cannot do a lot of things with it, they will get bored and ultimately they will just quit it. And another thing, when it is big, it, it has less portability. So he or she cannot take it with him or her wherever they go. You know, the, your kids, but if it is a small key, a small thing, which is very portable, which is, uh, you know, they can carry it, they can grab it in their hand, they can, you know, go anywhere with that. Especially tiny toys are very good, you know, for portability, for carrying. So they sometimes they like it, even they, you know, when they sleep, they put it beside them, and when they wake up, they again grab it. I notice that sometimes. So portability is very important, and a big toy with less function is not a good option. You know, I would not go for that thing. Let's uh, say Lego. You know, Lego has a lot of things. You can do a lot of things with Lego. So it keeps them busy. It uh, you know engages them. It's very engaging. You know, to play with Lego. So uh, you know that kind of toy I would go for. So these are some of the you know tips you might want to keep in mind. Another thing, uh, if it is, let's say, a toy that is very expensive, is because how it is manufactured. Probably it has a lot of steel and those and you know, but again it doesn't have a lot of things you can do with it. So again, it's uh, and because the kids don't care how much you are spending on a toy. What they care how, you know, how they are interested in it, how engaging and how, what kind of fun they are going to have with it. So don't only go by what your kids like. Sometimes you know they like the big toe. It's a big one. Grab it. Let's go. Let's go take it. But when they t uh, you know buy it, ultimately they don't like it anymore because they can play with it for a long time because they just get bored. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't have a lot of functions in it. So keep in mind. So buy something that is portable. You know that uh, that is uh, you know you, your kid can do a lot of things with it because it has a lot of functions. It will keep them busy and engaged. So buy something, go for something like that. And just don't go for, you know, how expensive it is. Thank you viewers, thank you for watching. I believe you got some idea about it, about how to buy good toys. Thank you viewers, thank you for watching.